What's up guys, Ulti Kid back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you a video on how to print something super easy that almost anybody with any level experience or 3D printer can usually print. I'm saying usually because some people may not know as much about it and may not have any clue what to do. So I'm just throwing that in there. Alright, so. For our design, we're going to be 3D printing a bottle opener. This bottle opener, to make it easier, is we're using it without metal, so you don't have to insert any coins. It just prints as is, and it's only one part. So this design is by Lemies, I think I'm saying that right. And it was uploaded in 2013, so it's fairly old. You can see all the pictures. He is not from the United States, as you can see. Um, it gives you a little summary about it. It says uh, it should withstand about 15 bottles of soda or beer or any type of bottle that you want to open before it breaks. So this is more of an emergency bottle opener, as he calls it, because it does not last very long. If you're in a, if you're in a situation where you have about 30 minutes to an hour to print this, and you want to keep your beer cold that long, you know this is right for you then. So it has instructions to tell you how to print it best. He says to have a solid top and bottom layers with um, not too of an infill so it doesn't break. He used a 0.3 millimeter layer height, three shells, five full layers at the top and bottom, as well as a 30% infill. I filled the surface after printing which removes a one layer. He used ABS instead of PLA, but today we're going to be using the PLA. And yeah, so we're just going to download this model. Gives you all your Creative Commons, stuff like that. You have to give credit, which I did. And then I'm just going to save that right to my desktop. Alright, so that downloaded pretty quick, so I can close out of that. Um, move that up here so I can see it better. Open it. And then extract that file from the folder. So we can delete that. Open this. And it comes with, actually which is pretty cool, it comes with a blender file that so you can edit it. You can add your name, you can add whatever to it you want, which I'm not going to get into the, on this video, so I'm just going to delete that file. So once that deletes, I'm going to open my Cura software and just make that small to put over there so I can still insert my file into it. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into Cura, which is version 15.04.2. Make this big again. Sorry if I'm going a little bit fast. Um, so he said a layer height of 0.3, but I'm going to be doing a layer height of 0.2 because I am going to be using a 0 .6, uh, 0 .6 millimeter nozzle. Um, I'm doing that because I already have that on my printer and I don't really feel like taking it off and putting it back on. Plus it would be faster to do. You could also do a 0 .8 or a 1 millimeter nozzle, which would work because there is virtually no detail on this model. So I'm just going to move that to the front of the build plate have a trial speed of about 150 that's all good then in the basic we're gonna keep that at 0.2 a shell thickness of about um, so it does it in the multiples of the 0.6 so it goes 0.6 1.2 and then 1.8 so I'm going to make that a 1.8 along with the bottom top thickness out of 1.8 and the fill density is going to be 50. He used a 30% fill density, but I think that that's too thin of an infill. And maybe 50 will help with the stability to 
open more bottles instead of just 15 bottles. The print speed, we can put that at 60 just because I want to get good adhesion so it does so it has a greater chance of not breaking. We I'm not going to do a brim or a raft on this model, which are just a brim would be just um little line the it does little lines to help with the adhesion and the raft would be a actual base. That would be a couple layers thick that you could pry off from the actual model. So we can just wait and see how long this is going to take with the settings I have. And if it takes too long, I can bring that print speed up back to 70. But I don't think it'll make much of a difference. So let's just wait and see. All right, so it looks like it's about going to take about 24 minutes, which is not, which is very fast. Actually, it's not very long. It's only going to use one meter and eight grams of filament, which is very nice. He made this model pretty small, so where it doesn't use that much filament, and it will work if you don't have a lot of filament left and you really need to spare. If you don't have a lot of money or something like that, then this is a great model to print. So. I will save it onto the SD card and put it in my printer. Alright, so after about 25 minutes of printing, our 3D printed bottle opener is completed. So this bottle opener was super easy to make. There's just basically three steps, which is to download the file, to slice it, and then to print it. But you could also add in a fourth step of opening the bottle. So right before this got done printing, I looked around my house and I couldn't find a single bottle. I couldn't find soda bottles, beer bottles, or anything like that. So I had to bike all the way to the store and buy one myself. I bought a bottle of Fanta. And we're going to see if this actually opens it without breaking. So right whenever I immediately put it on there, I can see that it fits very snugly. And, it, and the dimensions are pretty well. Ultimakers are known for great tolerances for very tight spaces and getting... Um, measurements correct. So whenever we open the bottle, I, I haven't opened a bottle before with this bottle opener and I have no clue if it's going to work or not. Because there isn't the metal in there, I don't know if this part's going to break or this part's going to break. So I'm just going to support the top part right here with my thumb. So because that's the part that's going to have the most stress on it. So I'm just going to place that on there, hold this with my thumb, and pull up. Whoa. It actually worked. Alright, so this is the top and this is the bottle. They're completely separate now because I opened it with this. There was no breakage. It, I did, it didn't even feel like it was moving at all. The It didn't feel like it was bending or breaking or anything like that. So this was a great model. I don't really know how many bottles I'll be able to open with it. I can try throughout a couple weeks with um, all the soda bottles I have or if my parents have some beers, I can try to open it with that. But with that in mind, please like, comment, subscribe, anything you can do to help me. Have a great day.